Hello everybody, welcome back to tutorial number 11 of the palette focus on the utopian dream. This has changed my life as of recently, because I mean here we are on tutorial number 11 on this beautiful palette. So last tutorial was the Blitz Extreme with the... Oh, I should know. <laughs> uh, Astral Amethyst Moon, yes. Astral Amethyst Moon on top of this really intensified that lilac, I guess, that lavender type of flip. But this, oh, I swear, every time, every time I swatch it, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. But for this tutorial, I want to use the Venusian, Astral Venusian Sunrise? Sunset? I should know. I really should know. But, I mean, oh, gosh, this is... And it just really emphasizes a lot more of that line, which is crazy. I know, I know. This is such a beautiful... Mm. Like I said, those astral shades really takes this uh, palette to a whole new level. And I've been really going back watching a lot of uh, reviews because, I mean, there's really no full-on tutorials of palettes anymore. But I was going back, looking at a lot of reviews, seeing how people were using the palette, the color story, and it was very... Everybody kind of used it the same way. Um, nobody really kind of ventured out. So I am forcing myself to really venture out with this palette, using those astral shades to really create more of not really create a different color story, but to see how they really enhance the color story of these Mothership palettes. So Utopian Dream is definitely a lot more, it's very ethereal, it gives me a lot more of the, almost like Lisa Frank, like back in the day, those like very bright neon, um, rainbowy, very, I guess, in a sense, kind of like more of the gay type of colors. I don't even know if that's the right term. Oh. But that's what it, this palette really reminds me of. And I really do love the fact that you have these pops of colors. The Cosmic Bloom is a beautiful, beautiful shade. You have this uh, Shockwave um, matte. You have this Trio Chrome, which really kind of takes things to the next level, kind of. But these two definitely really changes everything in this, in this palette, which I love. Because I think in the beginning, I used this all over the lid and I put this on top, which really created a completely different color story, which I was not expecting. I've done quite a few bronze moment, bronze moments with those. So, I mean, you definitely get your neutral, your everyday type of wear, and then you definitely have a lot more fun in that sense. I wonder if I do Cosmic Bloom with Astral Venetian, Venetian, Venetian on top of that, what that color would. Ooh, that might be the next one after this. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know how many more tutorials I'm going to create with this because playing with the astral shades now, like it's a lot more. The possibilities are endless with this palette. So let me go ahead and prep my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. I mean, it's getting kind of low. I need to get more. Definitely need to get more. But I will see you guys in a moment and we will get right into this tutorial. All right. So the eyes are prepped. I'm going to go on with the blush brush, blush, blush, brush, and I'm going to dip into Extreme Plum Noir first. There we go. Kind of just basically doing the same way as the last tutorial, but I just want to make this one a little bit more dramatic because I did this for, I think, was it tutorial number nine? And this is such a beautiful, depending on what brush you use to apply this shadow, it is actually a very beautiful, beautiful color. How does that look? I literally woke up a couple hours ago, so I'm still waking up because this weather right now, it is fall. So really try to darken up the corners just a little bit and just blow that out diffuse it as much as you possibly can 
And I'm very curious to still try the eyeshadow primer from Pat McGrath, but I don't know if I want to try the eyeshadow primer because I still have my Urban Decay that I still need to go through, my MAC uh, paint pods that I still have. It's just like I would rather start going through what I have now before creating more junk that I need to go through. Perfect. So that is done. And going into the Blitz Extreme all over the eyelid, like last video. This is just such a beautiful color. Like this is one of those shades I could just never get bored of. And I could just keep staring at it and using it and using it. But and then whatever's left over, we'll go and put it on the brow bone, actually. You know, be creative, be artsy. On to the other side. I would love to see this. Like, I should do a tutorial with this. Like, just get it wet with a liquid fire or something like that. It just all over the face. Do something very artsy. Perfect. It's where, like, these colors really blend about. Like the trio chrome shades, the shades that are in this, what is it? Is it like a maroon chartreuse? Chartreuse? Is that what it is? Like the shades, they really match a lot of the shades that are in this palette already, as is. But, all right. Let me go in with, oof. It's almost like a pink uh, lime lavender. Oh, it's just such a beautiful. Let's see what this does. Oh my god. I swear. Every freaking time. This just never disappoints. I mean, look at that. Look. And then just add it on. Because oh. this is just... This is just <laughs> beautiful in every aspect. Beautiful, the transition, the shift, the shades, the beauty of it all. I mean, see how it really reflects that almost, ooh, this on top of, what is that, Gigabyte? Ooh. See, this is what I'm talking about with this palette. With these astral shades, it really starts to make me think of all these other uh shades from all these other palettes like i just i just can't now for the brow bone let us go into the skin show nude ecstasy and just go and put that there let's see what that does Ooh, that really emphasizes the this is just so so cool so creative here perfect like this is just mm. I can't I cannot deal with this right now everything about this palette is just absolutely amazing but let me just go and do this back into this uh, let me go and grab a little bit more of that plum noir I'm just going really re-emphasize oh perfect let me go ahead and add some extreme black and then some mascara and we will see where we are at so this is where we are at i mean it just, it's just, it's just, just this color story is just freaking phenomenal. And it's beautiful because that trio chrome, the Blitz Extreme as the base, uh, even in the brow bone. I mean, this definitely really takes everything a little bit more editorial, kind of, in my personal opinion. But the trio chrome, it has that shift where it almost makes it look like I have like a brown. 
smoky in the crease also, but that's just the trio chrome. That is doing wonders on its own. This lime of the Venusian Astro Venusian Sunrise? Sunset? Orchid? Venusian Orchid. There we go. This shade is actually very, very beautiful. The color story behind this whole palette now, like, it's starting to make a lot more sense as to why these colors were put in there, but also these astral shades is definitely a... I think... I mean, in my personal opinion, I do glad... Uh, I am glad that I do have this color story. But for further shoots that I will be doing, I would definitely love to see these astral shades put on top of other um, mothership palettes that I have. Uh, the mothership, like I said, the last video is subversive. I'm very curious of how this, I mean, what if these astral shades were actually in the subversive palette? That would completely change that as well. Definitely change the hues of that color story. But I just love that this, oh, the sun's popping out. Color story has really enhanced with these astral shades and everything makes sense now as to why it's the utopian dream because even looking back at all the uh, other tutorials i did the videos and the pictures i took of this uh, palette so far like it's very ethereal like i said especially with that shock wave that cosmic uh bloom uh is more of that almost like a hot fuchsia cranberry in a sense but yeah this lime really tones everything down in a bit but it really brings up more of that darker aspect of this uh palette but it also really brings out more of that neutral aspect depending if you use the bronze on the bottom on bronze zero zero was it bronze solaris zero zero five zero zero three whatever that one is like you could really go Beautiful Coachella vibes with this palette, or you could go very neutral with that editorial edge to it with um, some of the bronze in here. So it's a, it's a beautiful palette. It's very versatile, in my personal opinion, especially now diving more into depth with it. So this is definitely really inspir inspiring me to take more time while doing these videos and really taking time of creating different looks with these palettes diving more into these astral shades now i'm more curious about those astral quads from uh holiday what 2018 2019 i think so i'm really curious to maybe even dive more into those quads uh, and see how those uh astral shades really change everything because i think for those i only have ritualistic rows so glad i have that because that was like a limited edition. And I think I was living in Vegas at the time. And Sephora only literally had one. They, I think they got a shipment order of seven. And that was it. And then I was there on my break from work. And I was just like, you know what? Uh -oh, going in with this. I might as well. I might as well get it. You know, I love that color story. That rose, uh, mauve type of colors. I don't know why. I'm always drawn to that a lot. I've noticed. But, and then I have the Nocturnal Nirvana, which for me personally was a must. I had to have the Nocturnal Nirvana because color like those, rare to find and rare to get, and especially the formulation of Pat McGrath, I had to get it. Have I used it? Maybe once, to be quite honest. But... These astral shades really, really take everything to a whole new level, which I was surprised about. Still surprised that this palette is able to do what it has done so far. Love the versatility, love the creativity that you are given to really experiment more. LM14, by the way, Pat McGrath, um, experiment more with this palette with the color story um this was the last mothership 
that had these astral and baked formulas except for the trio chrome in this one this extreme blitz extreme in this one is very um it's just like a regular press type of shadow and i kind of feel like this is when they started to introduce more of the formulation we see in mothership 10 and mothership 11 as well it's a beautiful beautiful formulation but I do prefer more of the baked formula of these special shades because that, I mean, for how much we pay for this, these three right there, beautiful, 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 beautiful. But I do understand that maybe resources had to uh, be changed due to everything that is going on due to COVID. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm very curious as to what they will be bringing to us so far in the future going forward with the motherships like i said i uh for me personally i do want mothership uh, subliminal midnight sun subverse uh, no um bronze seduction are the like main three ones i really want uh, midnight midnight seduction moonlit seduction and sunlit seduction i can really care less for although i did see sunlit seduction in person person and swatch it that in person is completely completely beautiful yeah but let me go and do the rest of my face and you guys will see the final look but this is where we are at so far this is mm. see you in a moment so here we are the final look i mean razzle dazzle <clears throat> divine glow for bronzer Highlighter is the Divine Rose Highlighter, which I love. And blush, I want NARS. Uh, what is this? Dolce Vita. Because I just want more emphasis on the eye. And this is such a beautiful, classic mauve. It's almost like a warm mauve. Dolce Vita. And I actually think I also have Outlaw from NARS as well, which is also a beautiful, beautiful, I should grab it. The three blushes I have from NARS is Dolce Vita, which I went ahead and showed you. Uh, woo! Outlaw, which is more of like a pinky, almost like a plum mauve, but these two almost look similar. Like this is more cool tone and that's definitely more warm. Uh, where's the Outlaw? I'm, Dolce Vita. Let me make sure I have Dolce Vita. And this one was fetish, fetishized. Man Ray collection. And this was more of this. I those type of colors I'm always drawn to, and those type of colors I feel like I need to have as a aspiring professional makeup editorial artist because color on deeper skin tones is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Like this does not do anything justice. Like experiencing this in real life, these colors, like it's just so beautiful. Lips is going to be just lip gloss. This is the Opulus gloss and pale fire nectar. I should come up with like a signature. If I had to come up with a signature lip combination, it would definitely be this with a lip gloss. Mm. Maybe 1993 or 1990, was it 1993 from Pat McGrath as a lipstick? But yeah, this is the final look though. What do you guys think? Tutorial number 11, this really brings up more of that line. Like I said, that trio chrome, it just gives more, it almost gives like a, its own transition shade, which I love. Um, this astral shade is absolutely marvelous. Splendid, darling. Splendid. But like I said, I'm kind of curious if I use the Cosmic Bloom as a base, if more of that pink shift aspect would start to come out more like right there i mean you can even see in the uh, mirror 
it definitely has more of a pink as well so keep a lookout keep an eye and look out for that so yeah tutorial number 11 we are definitely getting there um i think i'm definitely coming like i said i wanted to do at least four more tutorials with this but yeah if you guys have it pull it out 11 different tutorials like this is the oof this is just so mm, beautiful boom bam i mean look at mm. all right as usual go to my instagram page to see the final edits of this look um definitely quite a few more to go through we are going to wrap this tutorial up and even with 11 tutorials like this is still I feel like the only shades that would really hit pan really quick is probably the Blitz Extreme if you use it a lot because like I said it's more pressed and you see more of the rim a lot more clearer but I feel like everything else barely made a dent and these will definitely take a while to go through but I will see you guys next video Mwah.